Hi, everybody. This is Chris Kent, and I want to talk today about uh, getting your Microsoft form responses into a SharePoint list. So to start off, I've got a nice uh, mail order ice cream feedback form that I've created in Microsoft Forms. In this case, the company is a company that sends out ice cream cones when you order them. Uh, we slap them in an envelope and send them direct to your house. Now, there are, have been a few issues, and so we've started to collect those with anonymous feedback here using Microsoft Forms. And that's been great, but we want to take those and we want to store them in a SharePoint list where we can do a lot more with them. So in this case, we've got just four questions. Uh, we ask you for the title of your issue, the problem type, a multi-line description, and then optionally an email address if you want us to get back to you since this is an anonymous form. So if we take a look at it, normally you get your responses right here and you can see them. You can open them in Excel, it'll download. Uh, we can even open that. And while that's opening, you know, we can take a look here. This is very, very helpful to see all of these. You know, and it's great that we can download it from Excel, uh, but sometimes that's not super actionable, especially if you're expecting a lot of these or it's an ongoing process and more than just a one-time kind of data collection, right? But if you take a look at Excel, very helpful. We've got extra fields over here that we don't really care about in this case, but we care about our four answers here. So how can we use this? Well, good news. We can, real easy. But come back here and we'll click upon our waffle and we're going to just launch Power Automate. Now, Power Automate uh, lets us do all sorts of automated things. Uh, powerfully. There you go. <laughs> That's their uh, new tagline. That's great. You just hit create here, uh, and that is going to prompt you. You can start off uh, manually if you'd like. In our case, we're just going to search through the templates. There's a bunch of them out there. I'm going to search for forms. And when we come back with that, you can see all sorts of things going to happen when that form gets submitted. These are worth investigating. But in our case, we're just going to take this record form responses in SharePoint. We're going to click that. The very first time you run this, it's going to ask for your kind of connection permissions. Um, if you haven't run this before, it may ask you to set those up by signing in. Just hit continue on these because we're fine with it using our SharePoint and our forms connections. And then it's going to take the bare bones skeleton of a flow for you. And the idea is when a new response is submitted for our form, which we'll pick right here, uh, we want for each possible response, because this can run with you know a single response or sometimes people filling out these very quickly, it might have four or five. And then it's going to come in here and say, get response details. This means go get the answers, All right? For which form? For this form, for our form, it's going to go get those, and then we've got to write those to a SharePoint list. So let's go make a SharePoint list. So we head over to our site. In this case, it's a vanilla communication site, and we're just going to hit a new list here. Now, I could pick one of these templates, like, say, an issue track or something else, um, and then work with the columns there, or I could do an existing list I've already got. Uh, in this case, I want to do it as simple as possible, and I'm just going to say from Excel. So I'm going to upload that file I downloaded earlier with responses. So if you've never responded, make sure you respond at least once to your survey. Um, and then download that Excel file. Again, you can delete all those responses inside forms when you're done, if you'd like. But now we see all of those columns from that table. I'm just going to come over to the ones we want. And we're going to say the issue. That should be the title for the list item. This, we're just going to make a single line of text. We could make it a choice if we wanted. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to keep it simple. Single line of text. Single line of text. Out of the description, we'll make multiple lines of text. And then for anything we don't want, all we need to do is pick this do not import. We don't care about these in this use case. You may in some others, but in this time, nah. So we say do not import on all of those, and we hit next. And then it's going to give us this funky little list name. We're going to get rid of that. We're just going to call it Ice Cream Feedback with no spaces. And I'm going to create that. And the reason I create it with no spaces is that'll create the URL with no spaces under those extra percent 20s that are pretty ugly. And I can just click on the list name here and put these spaces in myself. But the thing you'll notice is not only did it create all of our column types like we'd want, uh, it actually took the three responses we already had and put them right in the list. That's awesome. So let's head over here and let's map that list in. So in our create item, our SharePoint action, we pick our site. So it's going to load up my recent ones here. We pick that one um, and then should pick our list, ice cream feedback. It's going to load up those columns we just created and we're just going to map those values. So we're going to come over here. And so our title is the issue. Our problem type is problem type. Our description is description and email address is email address. Wowee. Now we save that. And then for now we're all done. That's it. But just to prove it works, we're going to hit this test button and we're going to do manual so we can see it in action. All right. And so now it's waiting to see what's happening. So it just needs a response to the form. So let's head on over here and let's hit preview and let's respond to our form. So the issue this time was um, arrived with extra chunks. That sounds great, right? So we're just going to say it was gross. Our description, why would you do this? 
All right, perfect. And the email address we're going to say is uh, bob at bob.com. Wonderful. And we hit submit. And from their perspective, all that's done. If we head over to our flow, we can see, oh, your flow ran successfully. And if we wanted, we expand and see more details on that. But we don't want to look at that right now. We just come back to our list where we'll refresh. And bam, we've got the extra list right here. So now we can jump off to all sorts of different directions if we need to and do all sorts of really powerful stuff. Uh, we didn't need to be an IT or a developer or anything else to do that. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.